Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use the contains command in the Cypress. So let's begin. If you want to locate an element using the text of that particular element, so contains is the command. So contains command will get the DOM element containing that particular text. Now let's go to the Visual Studio and see how this contains command work. So let's go to the Visual Studio here. And if you remember that in our first tutorial, we wrote a script in terms of the login. So we will be using that script for this particular tutorial as well. So let me create a new file. I'm naming it as second.js and let me copy the complete code from here because we will move forward from here and let me paste it here and let's save this one now let's go to the test runner and see either this script is working fine or not so here is the second.js click on this one and see either this script is working fine so it will go to orange hrm live website it will provide the username password and it will log into the application yes that's how it's working now what we need to do is that we need to click on this one admin or let's click on the leaf here so click on this one and select this one and this is a locator from here let's copy this one from here and go back here and provide this one and what we need to do we need to click on this button or link right let's save this one it will start executing again and let's see it's going to the leaf tab or not yes now we are in the leaf tab so let me open this url into a browser and show you what we really want to do so let me log in here we need to provide the username and password and we need to navigate to this login here and once we are here in the leaf section so you see that we have a multiple options like apply for the leaf my leave entitlement reports configure leave list assign leave right and if i right click on this one if i go to the inspect element you will see that this particular line is basically a ul in the html so what i can do is that based on this ul i will say that to the cypress go to this particular ul and find the text for example apply and then click on this one instead of directly finding the locator of this one in case you are unable to do though so you can use this strategy of contains so let's go to the cypress here and and now let's find the locator of this particular ul so you will say this is a top bar ul and copy this one let's copy this one and go back to the cypress and here we need to use the contains keyword so now this is a contains and what it should contain now we need to provide a text so i saw that there was a apply section right let's confirm again yes we have a apply here and now on apply let's click on this apply link here and save this one so let's see it will start the execution and it should go to the apply section so you can see that we are on the apply section here now if by default this contain commands is a case sensitive so for example what I'll do is that if I go here and change is to apply it will fail now so if i go here by default it will fail so it will not find this particular element 
and it will throw a error yes so assertion error failed because it was trying to find this particular apply expected to find content sap is trying to find this content apply within the element ul but never did because it's a case sensitive now what should we do so there is a property if we mark that property as a false it will start working here as well so the property is very simple so provide a comma here and then we need to set the property which is match case okay and match case colon equals to false so that's the property we need to provide now save this one and see what happens now this should pass and it should find the element over there because we have marked the property as false and you see this time it worked and we are on the apply leaf page right furthermore we can also use this contains in a different ways so let me go to this particular code here and if i remove let me comment this instead of removing the code and let me copy this piece of line here and in some cases what happens is that you don't want to provide a complete text what you want to do is that you want to to provide a first letter here right for example you are saying to the cypress that go to this ul and click on something which will start with a but here there are two a right so that will also fail here in this case uh, let's go with m or l and see how this works i will be writing a simple regex here and the simple regex is very really similar and you don't need to provide the codes uh, because we are using the regex here so simply one so i am writing a simple regex here and what i'm saying is that m and uh, then backward slash backward slash sorry backward slash and then w then plus forward slash so this is a simple regex and we are trying to find with the this one now let's see either it works or not so let me click on this one and see something this one let's save this one and see what happens so it will go and search with the capital m and it should find my leaves yes we are on the my leaves list what you can also do is that you can use the contains directly so if i go here if i click on this one and if i change it to this one and contains and let me show contains what contain what it should contain apply and you can say it says that it's a unique so let me copy this one and go back here and instead of using this line here let me comment this one let me paste and click on this one so let's save this one and it will start execution now what contains will do it will go to the leaf page and search for the apply and you see it worked and we are on the apply leaf page thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial